through my steps in the songwriting class, we use a journal entry and because most people keep a journal, most writers do. And so you just go through your journal and you find something that you just know is going to be a great song. And Tracy Newman, who's been studying with me for years, has a fat journal. And she goes through that and finds the best ideas. And this is one that's, that spawned a whole trilogy of songs, but she's just going to sing one of them now. So read your journal entry, please, Tracy Newman. Okay, I just have to say that, that it mentions my daughter's name, which is Charlotte, and two other girls who are the kids in the carpool. Uh, today, this is about a teenage carpool. Today, as I drive this carpool, I can't remember why I decided to have a child. What possessed me? Then I think about what my life was like before Charlotte was born, 16 years ago. All I did was work. I was feeling unfulfilled in so many ways. My attention was scattered in all directions. I still didn't even know what I wanted to be. Often I wondered what I was living for. Oh, this is very sad. <sighs> then I would see a baby sleeping, get all warm inside, and think about what a great mother I'd be and how much, I, how much love I have to give. And I think, a baby, that's what I need. Emma and Naomi are already settled in the car. These are the other two girls in the car. Well, and here comes Charlotte in a loose hoodie and baggy jeans, shuffling toward the car on those ragged cuffs. She half greets Emma and Naomi in some unintelligible mumble in the dialect of a black girl. <laughs> I say hello and ask, how was your day? She looks daggers at me. And for a beat, I think, whoa, what did I do to deserve this? Then I cringe because I remember vividly giving that same look to my mother. Did she feel the sting the way I do? I rarely uttered a word to my mom, and when I did, I made sure my attitude let her know how stupid I thought she was. <laughs> Once when my mom was, I think, about 36, she was telling me about some project she was involved in that she was all excited about, and I was thinking, why are you telling me this? Your life is almost over. Uh-oh, karma. <laughs> the negativity I dished out, here it is. It's all coming back to me now, and Charlotte is the messenger. Everything I felt about my mom, she feels about me. I also remember loving my mom with all my heart, yet I would see her face and such anger would well up in me, I was compelled to lash out during my teenage years. It was like an addiction. Maybe Charlotte feels the same way. Maybe she loves me with all her heart and is unable to let it show right now. She can only treat me with disdain and shove me aside. If a teenager's job is to become independent, she's really good at it. Yeah. 
get my share of overdue karma, oh yeah, it's all coming back to me now. If you're gonna break away, you need to turn around and bite. Your shining stars, you'd risk your life to protect them and then they mark up their skin with something permanent. Whatever happened to my child? Why do I keep on suffering this carpool even though I've had enough of being the world's fool? Walking on her cuffs, her long blonde hair is in a mess of 